<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Commodore 64 budget game. Tonight I'm going to play the game Spooks from Mastertronic in 1985 and it was still of their uh, 199 range. I don't think they uh, already uh, introduced the uh, MAD Mastertronic Edit Dimension series uh, by then, which uh, was 299 instead of 199 and was supposed to give you uh, better quality games which in general it didn't. Uh, to me it was just an arbitrary uh, higher price and they were 15 marks instead of uh, 10 marks over here. Yeah, but I don't think I ever played Spooks so this is uh, new for me. Uh, yeah, I did have a couple of Mastertronic games back in the days, but uh, not that many. Because, uh, yeah, basically I pirated most of the games I've played. I did buy some uh, random budget games from uh, Mastertronic and from Codemasters. Uh, I don't think... Uh oh, and this doesn't look too great. Yeah, I don't think uh, the, the Firebird budget games were widely available over here. At least uh, the, the, the Mastertronic and the Codemasters uh, games were basically sitting in the same shelf. And that was a, a budget shelf, so uh, you could be sure that all the games in this shelf were either 10 marks or 15 marks and I've never seen a Firebird game over there, I think. I may be wrong, I'm pretty sure that at least uh, Thrust was available over here. But I don't think it was uh, 10 bucks like uh, the Mastertronic games, I'm pretty sure it was like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. Still uh, quite a bit cheaper than the regular uh, games, but more expensive than Mastertronic, I think. And, uh, yeah, not having to bother loading a game from tape and not having to uh, pay for a game was a great thing on the one hand, but on the other hand, uh, it was a little bit uh, this uh, candy store effect. You tasted everything, but uh, you never stuck to, uh, to a specific game. I uh, remember that I played uh, Hero quite a bit. I played Iridium a lot. Also played uh, Paradroid for, for quite a lot. And uh, of course later uh, Whizball was a game that I've played really a lot. I think I finished it once. I'm not quite sure if I finished it on the C64 or on the Amiga. But uh, most likely I finished it on the C64 because the Amiga version was really, really terrible. And that applied to a lot of the uh, early games on the Amiga. I mean, uh, you had really powerful hardware. Uh, there's no debate about uh, that the Amiga is much more powerful than the C64 in almost every aspect. But uh, a lot of games released in 87 or 88 for the Amiga were in the end lazy ST ports which mean uh, they used the program code from, this, from the Atari ST and uh, adapted it to run on the Amiga so uh, they did not utilize uh, any hardware scrolling, they did not utilize uh, any sprites or blitter objects because yeah, the sprite engine on the Amiga, let's be honest, is pretty shit compared to the rest of the Amiga spec. So yeah, the sprite engine is not too useful. Uh, yeah, and uh, you basically ended up uh, with an ST game that was uh, patched to run on an Amiga and uh, sometimes they uh, added some fancy digitized sound effects. Okay. Mm. 
this looks complicated. And I should have memorized the commands. So this looks like an adventure type of game. Can I pick up? I can pick up the table. Okay. Oh, the music is horrible. Can I pick up? What? Okay. Yeah, I probably should have read uh, the manual. So let's not pick up the table. Okay, there's a key. Can I? Okay, for some reason I could pick up the bed. Oh, the music is really horrible. Okay, now I have a bed and a table. So what to do with a bed and a table? Ah, I can pass through there. Uh, pick up. So why could I, can't I pick up the key? So... Do I need the table? Why can't I pick up the key? Can I use an item? No. Yeah, the music is really annoying. And I have no clue what I'm supposed to do. Holy shit, what's... what's oh shit. Can I throw... The table at it. Eight. Hmm. 
I have completed 4% and I'm really not sure what to do in this game. I hate the music, to be honest. Uh, it feels quite complex. So I only uh, managed to finish like 4% and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, type of game so I think I have enough of it and I can't really uh, judge if, if it's a good game or if it's a bad game because uh, I, quite, I can't quite figure out how to do this. I probably have to go uh, get to the exit again, but I'm not sure. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this quick video anyways and thanks for watching.